door. Where are you going? I'll have to make your supper. Everyone else is in bed. Never mind. You can worry about that later. But first, let's you and me have a drink. I like this place you have here. You know how to do things, Soledad. Sit down. Here's a toast to Papa. What's Papa got to do with my hotel? The fact is, when you were 15, you were worth a lot more than this hotel. Not what it takes to make anyone forget himself. By the way, how old are you now? You know my age. Why ask me? You have to be so aggressive. Because if you'd just relax, you and me could become friends. Only I suspect you prefer a different type of friend. For example, what's there between you and Jose, or the teacher, or all those peasants who think they're going to start a revolution? They're all friends of yours, aren't they? What do you want me to answer? You understand me. We're talking about you, your relationship with Jose. Your friends. But why would you be interested in helping those peasants make trouble? Maybe you want a drink before you talk. I know that there's one man in this town who wants to start an uprising. He's doing everything he can to convince the people around here. They've been coming here for their meetings. Isn't that true? Could be. I don't spy on my clients, you know. Yeah. Leave me alone! I hope your friends all know who gave you the money to open this place. And why he gave it to you. You've had too much wine. You should go home. Just a minute. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time, Soledad, to tell you how I really feel. Ever since I was a boy, I wanted you. You drove me crazy, but I couldn't have you because you belonged to my father. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Now, get out of here. I'll be sorry for this tomorrow, I promise. All right, but now disappear. Thank you. 